what are the top five skips in Final Fantasy IX speedrunning? So, Final Fantasy IX is a notorious game for not being broken. It doesn't have many skips. Unlike FF7 or uh, other other big speed games, there there are not many big glitches that have been found in this game. Uh, because because of this, there is only one major category for. Uh, beating the game as fast as possible, any percent. There is no no major skips or glitchless categories. But this being said, there are still some pretty cool skips that can net you some seconds saved across the course of this run. I'm going to show you what those are. So first up, in our number five spot we have Buck Skip. Buck Skip saves about four seconds. And it's hard to land. A lot of runners will not even go for it. What you typically do uh, on this screen is just run up with BV. You get hit by Puck, and then you continue on. Um, but if you are precise enough to land this text box right as Puck hits you, you save a whole four seconds. Now the problem with this is, of course, if uh, you mess it up, Oh my god, I just got it again. I was trying to mess it up. <laughs> it's, it's not this easy, I promise you. Um, so yeah, if you mess it up, it costs you two or three seconds because you you didn't run all the way up here when you got hit. You got hit by Puck down here instead. Uh, so you spent some time doing that. But yeah, that is Puck Skip. Not much to it. It's just a very, very precise mash of landing this text box exactly when Puck runs into you. Yeah. And moving on to our number four spot, we have Moogle Skip. Now Moogle Skip, like Puck Skip, is a very hard to get skip. Uh, Moogle Skip could be even harder. But the difference between Moogle Skip and Puck Skip is that Moogle Skip doesn't lose you any time if you go for it, unless you pick up this chest. Because how you trigger this skip is you essentially run off this screen at the top of it. This doorway has like a range. You don't want to you don't want to exit it at the bottom of the doorway. You want to exit it from the top of the doorway. And you want to be mashing when you exit. And you want to be facing right as well. Now what Moogle Skip does is as you could just see here, if you just run off the screen, a Moogle comes in, moves the Dane out of the way and asks you if you want to sleep and you sleep to progress the game. But the Moogle exists off screen. If you can position Zidane in such a way where he talks to the Moogle before he triggers the Moogle to come on screen, you can trigger this dialogue. Um, oh, right there, I mashed the chest. So it, you can lose time for going for this. If you pick up that chest, you lost yourself two seconds because you don't want to get that ore. Um, but you can kind of go around that chest. You see right there, I didn't really take a path. Uh, where the chest could have, I could have picked up the chest. So what you want to do is you want to run like all the way down here to the bottom of the screen, holding down right, and then you want to go up right, and then right at the very end of the screen because you want to be facing the Moogle and you want to mash. Uh, right there. Well, see right there, I got the ore again. You don't, you don't want to do this. Don't be me. <laughs> Most people don't even go for Moogle skip because yes, the ore is a problem. Um, <laughs> I keep I keep doing it. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, I'm just gonna run through this a few times to show you guys what it looks like. There's Moogle Skip. Uh Moogle Skip saves like two seconds. Um but yeah, it's a pretty cool one. And yeah, just don't do what I did. Try to take your angle. You want to exit the screen at the top of the of the doorway, but don't don't get too close to the chest. Don't be too greedy, um, because if you miss it without picking up the chest, you don't lose any time, and you could get it. I want to show you guys one more Moogle Skip. Ah. Ah. Oh, not the ore. 
Not the orb, please. Anything but the orb. No. There we go. There's Boogles again. Okay. Okay. All right. On to our number three spot. Cliffball. Now, I recently made a video about Cliffball. I thought I had cracked it. I thought I had cracked the skip. I thought if you nudged yourself in this corner with your camera angle locked from when you exit Condipati, you can just run down, down left and left, and you'll uh, you'll end up here. And you know that is the case from this specific parking spot with your chocobo. You nudge yourself into this corner and go down, down left and left. You will clip through this cliff. Um, the problem with this setup is it is pixel perfect. I am on a specific pixel when I load it in this save state. Um, it was an oversight. I, I, I tested this, I didn't just use this save state, I exited Conde Petit uh, in different ways and boarded the chocobo in different ways, but the thing is my chocobo was always parked in the same spot. Now if, you, if I just move to the right here and then try to nudge myself into this corner and go for the same setup, you'll see it doesn't work. It simply does not work. And that is because um, if I load the save state and then let's say like, you know, run around, nudge myself into the corner again, you know, I, I hope this should normalize my position, right? Now look very closely. I'm going to load the other save state that I was just on, the one where the, the clip works. Um, see if there's any differences. Could you see that? The chocobo moved slightly to the left. I wasn't on the same pixel. So depending on what, where, whatever exact pixel you are on when you run into this corner. Here, I'm going to do it again. Here's the switch. I moved again. It's it, You're in a diff different pixel every time. So the world map is a little messed up. It's uh, You can't normalize your position on any geometry on the map. So your best bet to go for this skip, which saves 8 to 10 seconds, by the way, is unfortunately just to rub up against this cliffside over and over again until you get it I, I just got it right there um, it's not you know it's not reliable so you only do this if you're desperate um, so just so you know it, it normally how, how you do this is you'd run over here past this cliffside you can see right here the cliffside dips down a little bit and you navigate yourself all the way over to black mage village but um, this, if you could just run off this cliffside right here, it saves 8 to 10 seconds because you don't have to take that whole journey over there. Um, but yeah, unfortunately our best bet at this time is just to wiggle back and forth until you get it. That's cliff fall. You can go for it if you're desperate. Uh, those two times I got pretty lucky, um, so I actually would have saved time. I just ran straight there and wiggled. But normally, you're just going to end up wiggling there for a while, and it's not going to save you too much time. Alright, on to our big boys. Our number two spot for skips goes to guard skip. Now, guard skip is a pretty obvious skip. Nothing too game-breaking here. Um, if you've played this game before, you probably even thought you could do this. Um, you can simply run around to these guards and have them not trigger fights with you. So right there I did a double loop-de-loop -loop pattern, which is pretty cool. Uh, I had to loop around one of them and then kite back and loop around them again. Um, but yeah, this skip, unlike the other skips, which were seconds, Cliff Fall could save you 10, Moogle Skip can save you 2, and Puck Skip can save you 4. This skip can save you potentially over a minute. Or even, if you, both of the fights are really bad, it could be over 2 minutes. And if uh, Steiner gets killed then you know, it could save you a game over if you're low leveled like you're level one or something these guys can definitely kill you so it's a very important skip but yeah nothing too game breaking here uh, but i would say th out of the top five skips this one saves you probably the most time um well I th i'd say i say our number one spot saves you pretty much the exact same amount of time with the two skips it involves um but yeah so right here, we have a fast pattern. You just loop around them quickly like that. That's the best pattern you can have, is when you just immediately get to skip around them. Don't have to wait at all. Um, but yeah, just depending on their positioning, uh, things can change a little bit. So right here, we have a loop-de-loop -loop pattern. They're a little too uh, 
the second one was a little too fast to do the fast pattern, so we had to wait a little bit and do a loop de loop. Hold on, let me make sure I get a different save here real quick. Um, yeah, as long as I clear this text box on a different frame, we should get a different guard pattern. Here, this might be a single loop. Oh, it was very close to a single loop, but if they were slightly closer to each other, I wanted to show you guys that. That, that, was, a, that was another double loop pattern, but I wanted to show you guys the single loop if I could. But no, they seem to be giving us a lot of loop-de-loops today. But yeah, that's guard skip. Okay. It's about that time. Moving on to our top skip. This is the big boy. Mistodon skip. Now the first part of Mistodon skip is this Mistodon. You want to wait till he comes around this barrel. Oh, you don't want him to grab you though. You gotta be quick. Get him to come around this barrel, and then you wanna run down. Don't let him catch Beatrix. And you go through here. Um, you can also just immediately run over here and not worry about the barrel at all, about cutting him up far enough, and just run that way. Because that brings Beatrix over to the left. And you'll see this one, is, he gets really close though if you do this. It's a little risky. If you see right there I got caught, I'm probably gonna get caught. Yep. You gotta be quick. You can't stop. You just gotta go if you go for this. There it is. But I do recommend waiting for him to come around this barrel. Wait, don't get Beatrix caught. Oh, God, he's so fast. And then you come down here. Okay. And the big mega mega uber skip is this one right here. It's pretty cool. Now, I don't have the ability to walk on my emulator right now, so this might be a little hard for me. But essentially, what you want to do is hug Steiner up against this wall and get that sword onto the tip of that dot as you can see here, or sorry, the tip of the sword onto the dot um, by tapping right. And you want to walk um, just so you don't overshoot it. Um, I'm just not able to walk right now for some reason. And then you just hold left. And you will clear the screen just that easy. It's pretty cool. So once again, you just get onto this dot. And there, the sword's on the dot. That little black pixel above the cross in the fence. And then I hold left. And the way this skip works is you essentially are just skipping this this fight trigger somehow. You're, you're clipping into the loading trigger before the, the fight itself is triggered. Uh, there's another way to do this as well. Apparently you can just run straight up to the very edge of the screen. And this is called Brave Skip. When you just, you just, you just stutter past it. I'm trying to get it. I've actually never tried this before. I think this is how it works. I'm not sure. We're having trouble. Brave. We have to be brave. That's the key. Okay, I don't think I'm going to get this. But you can... Uh, you, if you use a turbo controller and just stutter past this fight, uh, you can do that. Also, if you watch our the new world record by the Brutals, he does this Brave Skip in his run. I've just never tried it before. I prefer to get around the mist on using this uh, tip of the sword on the dot method. I messed it up right there though because I can't walk. I don't know why. Yeah, if you ever if you ever don't get off the screen, you can fix it fix yourself by coming back up here, hugging the fence again. Getting the tip of the sword on the dot and going on. But yeah, here's the whole Mistodon skip. This thing saves like a whole minute, potentially, or even more, just like guards. Whoa, I went way over there, but that's okay. If you think the Mistodon is ever going to be close to you here, just just go all the way around this obstacle. It shouldn't catch you. And then you move on to this part of the skip, and use the geometry to clip fast. It's pretty cool. Alright, that's the top five skips in Final Fantasy IX speedrunning. There's nothing else in this game. Please, if you think you can find another skip, uh, that would be pretty cool. Because this game is 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 on is not very broken. Uh, it, the world record in this game, which was set a few days ago uh, by the Brutals, is an 830, uh, 834. 8 hours and 34 minutes. And it's so high because, yeah, there's, there's nothing like Calm Skip or... It, it, there's no, there's no big skip. These are, the, these are the ones we have. Um, if you, if you're so inclined, definitely try to look for something. Anyways, 
I'm Pete Swanson. It's been a pleasure showing you these skips. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, come back for, for more speedrunning content. I'll see you soon. Peace.